this video is a continuation of the solution of the problem of example number one using moment distribution method before watching this video you must see to it that you watch the example number one so you, that you can understand in this video i will use another solution i will use modified k in getting the beam stiffness the k will be multiplied by 3 fourth to eliminate further distribution of moment on the support but you cannot apply this for fixed end support okay so we have this problem we have a continuous beam and it is loaded concentrated loads at different location of your beam and we also have our formula for the end moment so we will first we will compute the fixed end moment of each span so i already computed the fixed end moment what i gonna do is to multiply the k value by three fourth okay so three fourth so we have here three ei over nine for kab and for kbc this will be equal to three ei over eight okay so this one okay we used modified k we're using modified k then since support a and support okay support a and support c are the, dif the distribution factor is equal to 1 for the hinge and for roller support so we will multiply okay I have to compute again the distribution factor for this problem because we already using the modified k okay so we have new k value we have 3 ei over 9 divided by 3 ei over 9 plus 3 ei over 8 so we will compute 3 divided by 9 divided by 3 over 9 okay, plus 3 over 8. Since EI here in this problem is constant, we can cancel the EI. So we have here 8 over 17. Okay, next is... Okay, we also have here 3 EI over 8 divided by 3 EI over 9 plus 3 EI over 8. So the EI there can be cancelled because the EI for the entire beam is constant. So we have 3 divided by 8. And divided by 3 over 9 okay, plus 3 over 8. Okay, the answer is 9 over 17. Okay, 9 over 17. So, we have 
our distribution factors for the for the whole span so we will tabulate this one this result of our distribution factor by using the modified k by multiplying the k by 3 fourth okay but if you observe this is the result for of the example number one if you observe we have this the same distribution factor even we multiply it the k by 3 fourth this is because our beam in this problem have a constant ei so you can make the difference if your ei is not constant for the entire beam but what I like you to see, if you use this modified K, you can determine or you can get the result at early stage of your solution or, or your computation. So I have to, so you observe that I stop until third distribution carry over in this example so we will see if we use the modified k what carry over we can get the result so we will okay we will have the same result it should be 74.118 okay so we have to erase this one because we have our new solution for this if we use modified k because for the modified k we don't need to we don't need to give back a moment on the support or we have to eliminate further distribution of the moment on the support. So, okay, I will erase this. So, since we have the same distribution factor, so I guess we have to retain the the value for the first distribution moment okay okay so here for the first step in the analysis using distribution moment distribution method so we assume that all the supports are fixed so it is the for the it is assumed that the continuous beam to be fully restrained against rotation so that's it we assume that the support okay the supports are fixed it is restrained from rotation then we compute the fixed end moment so we have here the fixed end moment that is 40 for the support a and you have positive that negative 40 support so, so uh, negative 40 for support a then positive 40 for b then negative 60 for b but for the left right side and that is for span bc and for the support c that is 
positive 60. So, we balance the moment of each support by using the distribution factor. So, we have here now, okay, we have here to balance. So, for the support A, we have positive 40 to balance at A, the moment at A. So, the moment at A will be now become 0. Then, for B, we have the discrepancy or the unbalanced moment for B is positive 20 in order to make it 0 because you have uh, positive 40 minus 60. Okay, positive 40 minus 60. So, you need positive 20 to balance the moment. Then, the positive 20, we multiply it to the distribution factor that is 8 over 17. So, uh, the result is 9.412. Then, for negative 6, sorry, for positive 20 times 9 over 17, that results 10.588. So, if you add this, uh, the moment at B will become 0. So, it is now balanced. For C, you have positive 60 minus negative 60. Okay, after distributing the unbalanced moment of each support, next step is to carry over one half of the moment carrying the same sign. So, for support A, we will give one half of its moment that is positive 40 divided by 2. Okay, that is 20. Okay, one half of the moment of A that is positive 20 to support B. And also here for our support C, we will also carry over one half of its moment to support B. So that is negative 60 divided by 2. That is negative 30, retaining the sign. But, since we use modified K, we cannot give back or we cannot carry moment back to the support. So, we cannot give back no moment to the support or to support A and to support C. So, we have to give back the half of the moment only for A and C to B. But B cannot give back half of its moment to A and to support C. Then, after this, we will balance the moment. We have here a positive positive 10 to balance the moment then we distribute positive 10 using the distribution factor so we have 10 times 8 divided by 17 that is 4 point okay that is positive 4.706 then 10 times 9 divided by 17 that is 5 Okay, that is positive, okay, positive 5.294. So, if you check, positive 20 plus 4.706 plus 5.294. I use two decimal places here. So, that is positive 30. Positive 30 minus 30, that is equal to 0. So, the moment at B will be um, 0. So, it is balanced using the equation of the static equilibrium equation okay but then supposed to be the next step again is to carry over one half of the moment okay after balancing the moment but if you see b cannot give back 
half of its moment to support A and C. So here we will stop until carry over second distribution. So we will add, we will sum up all the results. Okay, so that is negative 40 plus 40, that is 0. Then you have positive 40 plus 9.412 plus 20 plus 4.706 that is equal to 74 74.118 that is positive 74.118 then for the right side you have negative 60 plus 10.580 okay minus 30 plus 5.294 so that is 74, okay, negative 74.118. Okay, so see, just one step, we can, in this problem only, for this problem, one step, one carry over, one distribution, uh, I mean, we stop until second distribution. So, here, we have to choose what is our final answer for the moment. So, as what I've said, since we use this formula, we assume you know, the clockwise moment is positive and the counterclockwise moment is negative. So, we are assuming that the counterclockwise is negative and the clockwise moment is positive so you have to consider the moment for the result moment uh, at the right side of the thing that is negative 74.118 you have to be careful what formula or what assumptions in the sign of your end moments that you are using so this is the answer of our example number one that is negative 74.118 so see we have the same answer so therefore the moment at b that is equal to negative 74.118 Okay, thank you for your time and I hope you understand.